We begin with the District 3 to a softball crown between Upper Dolphin and Brandywine Heights. The Bullets quick on the draw in the first. The chopper up the middle helps the Trojans get the out at second, but Heights still plates one for the lead. Upper Dolphin answers back in a big way. Faith Anderson, hey, thinks that tree past center field could use some trimming. She takes care of the job with a solo blast, ties it up at one. Unfortunately for the Trojans, that's all the Bullets allow. Brandywine Heights edges UD 2-1. to one for the district title. I'm Todd Sadowski. Softball and baseball take center stage at the district level with championship games tonight. And on Thursday, Andrew Callista grabs the camera and recaps a championship doubleheader at Wenger Field. Beautiful Wenger Field, the host for this one, District 3's version of Wrigley Field. Newport and Camp Hill for the two-way district title. Buffalo's Brady Kane feeling it. He gets the punch out early. Four Ks in this one for Brady. In the fifth, though, he's in trouble in the Lions roar. Christian Joy with a rip to right. That brings in another Lion. Manager Mike AC made all the right moves in this inning. Tyler Whitman joins the fun with a poke through the hole, and that brings in two more Camp Hill runners as they go up. 7 to 1. That is more than enough for Luke Paris. Seven innings, one earned, seven Ks. He's so hot on the mound. Cool him down before states as Camp Hill takes gold. I just love it, and I know our boys are going to love it. I just want, we want to go far. We want to go do something, put another banner up. That's all I want to do. Yes, sir! It feels great. We have all the momentum in the world. Can't wait to build off of it. Let's go, Jackson! Let's go! I got you back. Who needs a shower after that? Fresh lines down for the 3A final between Trinity and Ole Valley. Lynx pitcher Garrett Blankenbiller at one point retired 12 straight Shamrock batters. And when he needed his defense to step up, they did as they get two. Meanwhile, Trinity gives up three runs in the second inning without giving up a hit. Ole Valley scores on a sack fly and two wild pitches. That's an odd stat line. Shamrocks get one back in the third. Peyton Warner with an RBI ground out. But the Lynx defense just too good. 5-1 in the final. Trinity takes silver and a little tougher draw in states. In Bethel Township, Lebanon County, Andrew Kalista, Fox 43 Sports. Thank you, Andrew.